Hi there, English Picky here. Um, I'm getting around to doing a video about um, hidden gold. I've seen lots of videos online about you can get gold out of cell phones, out of computers, da da da, and they're all a bit wishy washy, airy fairy. So I thought I'd do a bit of investigation into this uh, and see what I come up with. I'm um, just going to spend a couple of hours. I've got an old cell phone here which um, actually found metal detecting uh, completely knackered. I've got some old circuit boards, I've also got an old computer. Uh, to take apart to have a look there and I've got the acid testing kits I've got all the equipment to test gold um, so I'm going to do some scraping, some filing uh, and really look into what parts are gold, what parts are gold plated and what parts are brass and copper because they all look quite similar so really to get to the real facts um, and see if I can come up with some conclusions for you all okay so starting with the cell phone I'm enjoying a nice cup of tea but I've taken off the the plastic on the outside and the battery pack which is a bit corroded and uh, first inspection you've got the SIM card um, that looks to be gold plated uh, then it, within here you've got these contacts here uh, you can also see through there as well to bits and also the contacts for the SIM card um, there's nothing visible on this side so it looks like I'm going to have to bust this open somehow um, so yeah I'll get back to you ok so I've uh, managed to wreck it a bit more uh, basically a lot of it's held together with these specialty screws so I'm having to just sort of snip it with the snips and smash it apart I mean you could go to the effort of getting these screws uh, but these are the bits I've pulled out so far uh, we've got the SIM card, we've got these little pins which came from the top and the back here and then we've got the battery contact but the interesting point is all the gold coloured ones are magnetic so that says they're not pure gold um, even the SIM card it's, it's all magnetic so they're, they're most likely plated onto some kind of ferrous metal uh, also behind the battery pack there's this like foil stuff um, so I'm not sure what that could be as well and then the internal components there these bits um, I think they're aluminium uh, they're not magnetic and they're really light ok so as you can see I've got all the front off uh, most of the back uh, it's just the, this bit to pull off which is the uh, base bit that you plug in for the power you can see there there's some gold coloured bits um, the problem with a lot of them is they are magnetic so yeah not sure then you've got these covers which you lift up to expose the circuit board these must protect it these are uh, aluminium and then there's lots on the circuit board there but ok I'm almost there chaps what we've got is uh, found some bits of copper uh, then there's some more goldy coloured bits in there a little like motor type thing then the main part we've got the screen here we've got the button contacts I suspect they might be something and they're quite sizable so uh, I'll pull those off and test them and then this is the main circuit board here you've got the contacts here these look to be gold plated this side's fairly smooth and simple but this side oh my days that is very complicated so um, yeah I'll see if I can get you close up of that with my loop I mean there's going to be platinum, gold and silver in there but releasing it is another matter so I'm going to try and clip off a little bit these large sections here in the corner and test it on my stone to see uh, what the content of that gold is ok so I've got a speck of the gold from the plated thing I'm going to pop a drop of acid on it and see what happens this is the 14 to 24 carat gold acid See what happens. No reaction yet. So there's no copper. No discernible copper. I'll get back to you on that. Ok well uh, I've left this a good 30 seconds to a minute and you can see there in the centre of the acid is the gold it is 
there's some slight bubbling ever so slightly no elements of green or anything like that so this shows that those areas on there are in fact gold um, very very small amounts of gold but they are gold ok I pulled the strip from um, the base part here um, that's where the power goes in uh, it's nice little strip, here's a magnet and it is magnetic so that proves that it won't be solid but um, we'll pop a drop of um, 24 karat gold on there and see what happens and no reaction I'll leave that to sit for a while and see what happens. There is some slight signs of bubbling on the surface which would indicate gold is present. Um, but it's whether it strips it of its gold. I'll get back to you. Ok so this strip has been in the uh, acid testing solution now for about 10 minutes. There has been some bubbling and some slight darkening which would indicate uh, signs of gold. Uh, but because it's magnetic uh, I'm tempted to say it is like a heavy gold plate. The other piece here, which is broken off the circuit board, is reacted to gold, but it's so wafer thin. Um, you know, I'm surprised it hasn't dissolved it by now. So yeah, all in all, uh, sort of inconclusive really. I have taken one of the buttons off the control uh, keypad and um, I've applied the silver testing solution. The acid did nothing. Silver hasn't reacted. And it is magnetic, so again, probably aluminium. Um, not if it's magnetic. Not too sure, uh, but certainly not precious metal. Okay, here's the bit I've been looking forward to. Here's the SIM card. I've roughed up the surface slightly so just to make sure there's no sort of coating on there. Pop a drop of acid on there and see what happens. Okay, there's no signs of copper, a copper reaction. Um, I'll pop that on so you can see a little bit better. Uh, no, nothing which would indicate it's, um, it's a high, you know, high carrot. There's some dark signs and some slight bubbling which would, get, would again indicate gold present um, no strong reaction though um, so yeah I'll leave that to soak for a while and I'll get back to you ok so I've left it a while to uh, sorry about this dodgy camera work I can't get anything better really to uh, to sit and um, do something but you can see now clear evidence of bubbling which would it's like a dark brown bubbling, it's not green so it's not copper so it's a definite strong indication that that is gold and because of the length of time it's taken it's um, a high carat of gold uh, I'll just leave it now just to see if it burns through that and there is copper underneath ok so I've left the reaction to carry on for several minutes now and you can clearly see that it is a dark brown colour still bubbling reaction no signs really of any green or a light green colour so it is definitely gold um, it's reacted quite strongly and you can see it's still bubbling away so relatively thick gold um, whether that can be extracted or not is unclear but yep the sim card definitely contains gold that's interesting with a careful um, with using some really fine needle nose pliers you can not actually peel the thing off the sim card so that's thick enough really to hold in your hand uh, it is gold the other side as well so if, you know certainly if you had enough sim cards to peel those bits off there's maybe point one of a gram in one of these I'd say um, so tenth of a gram is three quid pretty good okay, so these are all the bits off the sim card that I've pulled off you can see bits of gold there so what I'll do is I'll turn the scale on Ok, so my scale's on, I'll just carefully tip 
Little bits of gold on there. And as you can see, it weighs less than 0 0.1 of a gram. So conclusions, really. I mean, I've still got this here, which I don't know what to do with. Um, you could try and scrape some of this off. Um, but really, I mean, I've spent an hour and a half faffing with this to extract it all. It's really not worth it. So I'd just like to dispel all rumours that it's worth doing. Uh, to be honest with you, you, you know, in terms of mobile phones, you're better off, um, you know, just taking out the SIM card and use than that, really. So, um, yeah, let us know what you think. I mean, obviously, there's ways using uh, acid to strip it off. Um, videos are unclear about that, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, and I haven't really got enough of this to to warrant trying it. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.